hello uh, welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect the uh, two routers wirelessly yeah this is a router in 300 and uh, i'm going to show you how you can connect wirelessly i'm going to use a tender and a Japan router this is my Japan router and i'm going to connect wirelessly to this router so first of all i'm going to connect my tender router to to the power and i'll wait until uh, the wi-fi icon is on we will wait until it, it has turned green for it to indicate that it's on let's keep waiting yeah it's on so let's go to our uh, laptop and uh, click on wi-fi let's turn on our wi-fi and search for tender let's wait for tender to appear here it is click connect uh, it will direct us to a special website to a special tender website and in this part i'm going to select a dynamic ip this is our default dynamic ip and um, i will skip this part first click ok wait for a few seconds then click uh, cancel dot window settings we'll click cancel and here we'll go to status it is not connected then we'll go to what uh, wireless settings and then um, change our router name we'll give it any name okay, we'll give you, okay. router must go yeah this is our next and select our password you we will put in a password between 8 to 63 characters i'll put a simple password for remembrance and a multi ssid password and a schedule for now we'll skip that and then um, click ok click ok right here uh, the message is saved successfully then we'll go back to to of a repeating mode and we will select the, the mode of which you want to connect the wi-fi for me i'll select a it's called a universal data mode so there's no internet restart and i will search for my wi-fi it's my wi-fi connect and i'll put the password that i set you put your password and click next click yes it's a minute for it to connect and then it has taken us back to our, to our tender website then click go to settings here is your login router login password whereby you need to change your password and if you want to change your password or reset your router this is the login password that you need to put so you login to your router now i'll go to location and we'll set this location to your current location um where is it i'll select uh, this my location and click ok yeah. okay saving then the login password that we set is the router demands our login password we'll put our login password and click login go back to our router and this time we'll go to wireless repeating and we'll put the uh, universal repeater that's because we want to connect our router to our tender router to our phone router wirelessly then i will uh, select uh, my wi-fi password my wi-fi that is close that wi-fi and i uh, will click this and put in the Japan wi-fi password for it to connect wirelessly yeah and uh, at least make sure it's above 80 percent for the for the tender router to be strong or the support router to be at least strong so you click ok and your router will boot click ok let's wait a few seconds for our tender router to boot let's wait and
okay what happened okay i think i put the wrong password let's restart to set our password again login is the tender put a password again again oh what's happening let's login again i think i'm putting the wrong password okay and let's go to again to our wireless repeating go to wireless repeating and uh, let's correct let me check this password i think password that they here was wrong that password oh yeah 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 of course i missed a letter here of course so let me correct my password and then click okay the root i will reboot again and the router is rebooted let's go to our um, wi-fi and check for and and connect it again fresh fresh again yeah let's log in again our router make sure you don't forget your router password because anytime you want to change your router password and your ssid name or your wi-fi name you'll have to log in to your router yeah here it is our wi-fi is connected as uh, bridge successfully and uh, we have internet see some messages popping let's go and check yeah our router is connected and it's uh, connected to the internet you can click disconnect go to disconnect and uh, let's go and check our internet speeds and for right now i'll use the normal google speed test and uh, let me check run your uh, speed test uh, okay let's wait i think my wi-fi might be a bit not stable for now but uh, let's wait that's 2 mbps download speed and uh, let's wait for the upload speed and 4 mbps upload speed yeah my wi-fi is not stable for now and if you we log in and uh, we log out and log in again i think the wi-fi might be strong so let's wait okay we'd say by using cable to connect our laptop to our router using uh, our r okay or even cable or rather rj cable and uh, let me connect to the router to the port one and the other end i'll connect to my laptop to see if, uh, if it's working connect to the ethernet port on your all your rj3 port on your laptop and uh, let's wait for it to connect yeah it has been green means the connection is okay we have both the wi-fi connection and ethernet connection you can see right here and you can see the yellow and green blink on our laptop means the connection is Okay, yeah, and you can see we have connected our router wirelessly to our Japan router, that's our main router. This method you can use uh, to connect or to extend your Wi Fi at home or at place. Now, 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 now you can see that um, our router is now stable, our internet is now stable. We have 15 Mbps download speed and we have around uh, 19 Mbps uh, upload speed. Yeah. So thank you guys, if you like the video please 